Okay, so we're streaming and recording. And let me get this set up for the slides and say hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome to um, our little info session tonight. We're excited to get going. You can see myself and Jenny before we share the slides. So you can see who match the faces to the voices. I know it's always a little funny when you're like, I don't know whose voice this is. <laughs> um, do you want to say hi, Jenny? Yeah, I was just sharing it to my page. Hello, everybody. Good to be here with you. It's pouring down rain here in central Indiana. So hopefully you can hear me over the noise. <laughs> it is raining in Vermont as well, um, which is annoying, but better than the blizzard that was happening a week ago today. So I will take a little rain. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and share the screen. We're just going to jump right in. Um, if you're here live on the Zoom or you're watching the live stream, I'll um, Jenny and I'll take a peek throughout at our live streams in the comment section. So feel free to ask questions um, or make comments or, I mean, nice comments, um, but really like ask, <laughs> ask questions if you want. Um, so we'll make this as interactive as we can for the folks that are, and even if like, you're like, oh, I don't know if this is a question, a silly question. There are no silly questions or anything. Like if you're thinking it guaranteed other people are too. So um, it'll kind of keep us staying really fluid rather than just kind of go in side by side. But the slides are designed because designed because I was telling Jenny today, I'm quite chatty. Um, Jenny is also quite chatty. So a call oh. between the two of us. Um, our goal is to keep this uh, short and sweet because we know, you know, we're appreciative of everyone taking time out of their night um, to join us and, but we have a lot that we're excited about sharing. So, um, let's go ahead and get this started. Let me zoom out a little. There we go. Okay. So we are going to talk a little bit tonight about our career pivot, but Jane and I both spent the last 10 years ish with, um, in the fitness and nutrition space with another company and at the, you know, around the same time made this big pivot, this big jump, um, I call it into like, I call it like a, a, a glow up into like a more, you know, kind of a, a higher level conversation, a more um, evolved conversation around health and wellness that really encompasses and embodies the, our, the importance of our hormones, um, mind, body, spirit hormones. Um, and then we did so by partnering with a company that we're going to dig into and share because it is a really special company. Um, it's a really young company. We'll talk about the timing and the positioning and, and what we, why we said yes to this. It was a long vetting process for both of us. Um, but as you can kind of see our agenda tonight, this is, this is what we'll be chatting about. So if there's anything you're like, oh man, I was hoping you would be talking about something else. Um, this is how use the chat, make sure we can talk about anything that you want, but let's give a little, a little intro. Um, Jenny, do you want to start first? Sure. I sure can. My name is Jenny. Um, let's see. Yeah, I've been with Hugh and Grace just since around Christmas time, so not very long. But I've I've loved it so far. I, I do have like like Jamie said a background in network marketing. Um, actually, that's what gave me my start into health and wellness way back in 2010. So I started getting really interested in fitness and nutrition. But that really came as a result of my own personal struggle with hormones. Oddly enough. Um, I, I struggled, I've always struggled with chronic migraines related to hormonal triggers. And then in my late twenties started dealing with some issues with infertility with my husband and myself. And so hormones has sort of been a, an issue for me throughout my life as early as age 22. And my first introduction into that was with the fitness industry. Um, I got really into just feeling better and doing what was in what, what was within my control to feel better, which exercise made me feel better, eating healthier made me feel better. And I got really almost, I won't say obsessed, but I got really um, excited about that maximum energy, as I like to call it. So succeeded there, was able to really sort of um, get into that world. I always thought I would work in corporate book publishing. How exciting is that? Um, but I loved, I always thought, you know, I had a journalism background. That's what I went to school for. I always thought I'd work in some corporate job, but network marketing in general really opened up my eyes to the potential to really be my own boss and to create my own schedule and to work when I wanted to, how I wanted to. Um, and unfortunately, if it wasn't for all of the, sort of roadblocks along the way for me, which was, like I said, chronic migraine, infertility, all the different hormone things that kept popping up. Um, I really feel like 
you know, I would have sort of been in, in my world, I would have been living a, a fine, a very happy life working in that environment, but I've been able to do so much more in just in the last 10 years. So um, fast forward to my second daughter being born in 2020. And um, I realized I wanted, I craved something more. I really wanted to not just help people with accountability in their health and fitness, but I also wanted to really teach women what I had come to learn through my own struggles with, with hormone health. So I kept racking my brain on like, how do I do this? How do I go deeper? How do I really help women on the next level? And for me, it was like, okay, well, let's start with just maybe sharing the, the experiences I've had, the things that have worked for me when it came to hormonal migraines, the things that worked for me in my, in my infertility journey. And so um, I launched a course myself in 2020, uh, all about cycle syncing, and this, I'm giving you the short story version of this, but I went on to get my integrative health practitioner license, my personal training, nutrition. I mean, this has all been years in the making. Um, but in 2020, I was able to launch my own course and say, here, I want to help women on a deeper level. Uh, so the course launched, followed quickly by a podcast, which we're now over 250 episodes into, um, really all dedicated to hormone health. So here I was in my little corner of the world, like no one's at that time talking about hormones. It felt like back in 2020. And I'm over here like, women, you got to pay attention to your hormones. Like it matters, it matters, it matters. And I knew that just because of my own issues. Um, so slowly, you know, Jamie and I met um, through my course. And um, when she when she had brought this up to me originally, I, my first reaction was no way, I'm never going to get into network marketing again. I told her, don't ask me again. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with what I've built and what I'm building in my own uh, corner of the world with hormone health. And I think if, if I remember correctly, my exact words were, I'm not just going to partner with a hormone health company just because they say they're a hormone health company. For me, it's really about how, how the details and how it's being done, the ingredients that are being used in the products, um, the leadership of the company, the vision of the company and the values, right? And so I was like, I, I, nope, don't even talk to me about it. Like my brain is not there. I've been in, in my own sort of entrepreneurial world here for the last few years. Um, but in meeting, you know, talking more with Jamie and in meeting the CEO and really getting a feel for the formulations of the products and, and all that stuff, which I know we'll touch on, I was like, I can't not do this. Like this literally feels like an opportunity that was made for me, um, as a perfect partnership, because guess what the number one thing is that women ask me about when they do get to that realization of hormone health being important, right? Because I always say when women know the why they will apply, well, I've been teaching the why now for four years, um, but the number one question I get once women understand the reason behind why it matters is, well, what products, Jenny, do you recommend? Well, for me, it's like to be able to say, here we go. Here's an entire brand that I recommend for you that has multiple product verticals that can take care of your household care, your skincare, all the things we're going to talk about tonight um, is just the perfect partnership. So I, I like to, to kind of... Um, set the precedent that like, you don't have to be a hormone health expert to, to be in this business. Um, that's, you know, that's, I, I kind of fell into it myself just in my own struggles. But what I have found is that there's such a powerful movement happening in the world of hormone health that is being led and driven by women. It's women empowering women to self-advocate for themselves, to finally say, Hey, it's not okay for me to not feel okay. Normal is not optimal wait a minute, I think there might be some stuff in this, you know, skincare that I'm using that I need to swap out. Like women are starting to step into this and that puts us in this perfect position as Hugh and Grace advocates to be able to say, here, we can help you. We can keep it simple for you. And for me, after, after realizing that and studying the company to the nth degree, as Jamie can tell you, I was like, this is, this is, I can't say no to this because it's just too powerful. So that's my background, probably talked way too long, but I just want to share like, it's been a journey for me. And um, I always say out of our struggle comes our story and you don't have to be an expert, but all of us have in some, in some regard, all of us have some sort of health story to share or um, a way that we can impact others around us. I, I love that. I love hearing your story, even though I've heard it um, every time I like take a little bit more because I think that that's where we find our footing as we are navigating our own. Like, I think, you know, I, so I'll start, I'll reverse back 10 years, um, <laughs> a decade, which feels very aging, but, um, where I started, um, I was a school counselor and a waitress and was working and a kids yoga instructor and is working 90 hours a week. 
Um, I have always had a lot of plates spinning and always kind of prided myself and this, this ties into how it led me here, but like being able to do it all and just muscle through and I don't need sleep and um, I can just go, go, go. But then the second we would have a school break, Christmas, summer break, spring break, I would be sick because my body would go, okay, fine. I've held it all together until now when I'm taking back control and we're going to rest and repair. And then I would just scratch my head going, why am I, why is my immune system so bad? But I never really took care of it. And then I fell into, um, being a health and wellness coach, um, you know, at, at our previous company. And, uh, that was a really great tool for me, a really great way for me to really prioritize taking care of myself and learning about nutrition, um, exercising in a way that was nourishing versus, um, depleting. I would just like work out at the gym for three hours a day. And it was really about weight and, and physique versus feeling strong and healthy. And it was really, it was a really great place to be for a really long time. And then fast forward to 2020 or even 2019. And I had hit my 2019 is when I turned 40. Um, and my body started shifting. My marriage started struggling. Um, our company started changing, like just a lot of things all, it was this perfect storm. Um, I had a lot of loss and trauma in 2020, 2021. And, um, I have kind of lost my alignment, lost my joy in my career. Um, and I was really, that was really important to me is how it was my sole income for my my, I'm a dog, cat, rescue mom. Um, and now, now, <laughs> um, many other animals, but at the time I was in Oregon and I just, the bottom fell out and went of my life and, and in that my health fell apart. Um, and when your health is your business and your career and the thing, you know, we put ourselves out there online and all of a sudden I was like, I feel like such a fraud. I can't even lead myself to, in health. And, you know, my weight was going up. I was exhausted by 10 AM. I didn't, I, you know, I started just looking for answers and going to doctors and, um, working with a functional medicine specialist. And there was really no solutions. There was really, um, no answers. And I felt like I was getting farther and farther away from feeling like I used to feel my optimal self. And it felt really, you know, if you've ever experienced that where, you're like, I used to feel so good and I don't even remember that person anymore. I don't know if anyone can relate to that, but it's like the most isolating, defeating thing. And I really like blamed my loss of love for my career and my, you know, seeing, seeing it go backwards a little bit on that. And I realized that when I, when I, you know, I started understanding like through my doctor that I was having adrenal issues that my adrenals kind of flattened out, which is connected to our cortisol, high stress, little self-care, no sleep, lots of work, um, lots of burnout and truly like a lack of alignment in my spirit and mind all like really just truly made my body just shut down. And then it triggered a lot of us. Jenny talks a lot about like the balance of our, of our hormone chair, four-legged chair. Like then all of a sudden I started having sex hormone issues with my, like, you know, birth control. I thought I was going through perimenopause, but it wasn't, it was just that like, you know, I was having thyroid issues. They were testing that my insulin over and over again, like trying to figure out like, am I diabetic? Like, because nothing was, everything was off. Um, and so I found Jenny's course through, you know, I even, I changed everything. Like I even moved from Vermont all the way to Oregon or from Oregon all the way to Vermont. Um, like just complete life reset, like really looking at simplifying life, slowing down, built, not that slowing down and also working as hard as I've ever worked to build like a little homestead and a million animals. But I was really like committed to healing, healing and just be like really connecting with my circadian rhythm, getting outside, working the land, um, and just kind of getting out of this really unhealthy cycle I was in in my own life, um, and enter the sync course. And I realized that like, um, my stress levels, my hormone health, like I, I was interested in this for my own health, but what I learned was like how many of us are really struggling with getting, being heard at the doctor, feeling like we're just crazy for feeling so away from our, our optimal selves, um, being completely like dismissed. Um, I can't tell you how many times I was dismissed by my, by different doctors, like 
that's not what's happening or you you, you know, just completely dismiss. We won't, that's a whole different tangent. But I realized through that process and learning through her course, like how, how many of my clients in my health and fitness business were just stuck, staggering, floundering, or even had just completely disappeared because I didn't have the tools in that previous framework to help them. It was like, eat this, do these workouts. And if you don't fit into the end, like things stopped working. And so I am always um, of the mind, like if, if things aren't working, then we've got to go, we've got to find a solution. We've got to, it's not just a, you know, the, the definition of insanity is rinse and repeat and doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. And so I realized that it was the framework that was broken. It was that culture and community that was broken. And as soon as I realized, I gave myself permission to look and say, is it me not working hard enough or not believing enough, not doing enough personal development? Or is it that this is just not a healthy place for me anymore? And as soon as I kind of like took a step back from that and repositioned, um, then this company fell on my newsfeed. And I was like, wow, this is an answer to some prayers. And spent many months vetting this, looking at this, dissecting it. Um, you know, Jenny and I had many long conversations. She loves to play the devil's advocate. And I was like, we don't always need a devil's advocate, Jenny, but it was always helpful to um to be able to look at this from all sides because this wasn't just a decision for me and her. It was a decision for the people that we were, you know, lucky enough to lead and get to inspire. So, and the people like you. So those are our long intros. We're going to breeze through the rest of it a lot quicker, but I think our stories are the, kind of the most important. Um, I'm just about six months in. This is my seventh month here. So we're pretty new in this company still. And um, the company this, itself in May has our third year anniversary. So we're beyond startup phase, um, but we're still young and po- like kind of almost at the explosive growth phase. Like there's a three different phases of growth and we're just we're growing so, so fast. We've had a hundred percent increase in growth in six months. Um, the entire company, um, this team specifically is like the fastest growing team, um, because of leaders like Jenny and myself and a lot of the other women, um, some of them are on this call, like just amazing leaders, amazing people that really do want to just make an impact and talk about wellness on a, on a bigger, more holistic level. So Jenny's going to talk through kind of some of the things that make you and grace so special and unique and what, what really made her go, okay, there's, I have to do this. There's no way I can't not do this. Yeah. And I'm somehow going to keep it short and sweet. So, um, we'll, let's, we'll try, we'll try at least. So when I first, like I mentioned before, when I first started talking to Jamie about the company and when I first met with Sarah, this one of the CEOs, I said, you know, I really want to make sure that every single product you know, is following the same values that I value, right? Like no artificial ingredients, making sure everything's sustainably sourced, making sure that everything is truly tested for endocrine disruption. I'm not going to, like I said before, put my name on a, a product that just says hormone health that isn't actually hormone healthy, which by the way, is a whole topic in and of itself. I know Jamie talks a lot about that. Um, there are products in your grocery stores that are marketed to be healthy, non-toxic, non-endocrine disrupting, but when put to the test, they fail. So it's, it's important to me to, to partner with a company of integrity, to partner with a company who does the extra work, who has a medical board, who has you know people serving this, not just like an idea of, oh, let's create this product and, and make it happen and we'll shortcut all the ways to do that to, to sell more. Instead, it's really about how can we do it in a way that is helpful to you and your family. So um, you know, Sarah's the best at sharing, at sharing like the, the company story, but they are also the co-parents of Hugh and Grace, which is awesome. If you haven't heard their personal story, Sarah and Ben are the founders of Hugh and Grace, and they have their own personal story in infertility, um, which led them here, right? It's kind of interesting how I think a lot of us are here because something has drawn us to hormone health through our own stories, right? Like we, we've made that realization for ourselves. So they're, you know, a leader in the hormone health movement. Um, and the mission is, and I'm going to read this to empower you to transform your life through products, content, and community. I would say that, you know, in the beginning, when I made my decision, I was very, like she, like Jamie said, I was a devil's advocate about the products. You know, I was asking a hundred thousand questions about the products because to me, it was like, I want to represent something highly credible, but what's actually surprised me the most has been the education behind the products and, and behind hormone health, which was a big question for me coming into the company, which I'll talk about here briefly, and the community as well. Like being in an environment where 
I said this today in my social media, where women are not only able to thrive in their health and to do the things that truly matter to keep endocrine disruption at bay, which again, I feel like we could do a whole hour on just endocrine disruption. Um, not only that, but I'm also seeing women thrive again in business. And that's really exciting. That's something that I really have valued over the years is watching other women be able to start, whether it's a side business or to earn extra income and to be able to see them thrive in that environment, you know, serving this need that is so, so prevalent. So um, when it comes to the content, that's one thing I do want to touch on here br briefly is just one question that I had asked Sarah and Jamie in the beginning is, okay, this is great that you have these products. But to me, we have to make sure like the customer has to understand why these products are designed the way they are and why they, why it matters to make this type of choice, because this is a choice. It's a choice to, you know, to, to, to say, I'm going to make these swaps, whether it's with my home care or my skincare. And as Jamie has so eloquent, eloquently said before, um, you don't learn about this kind of thing. You don't learn about endocrine disruption and then make a different choice. Like you're not like, oh, well, I think I'll just, you know, go back to that laundry detergent that's that's highly toxic, right? Like once you know better, you can do better. And I love that about the community that we're constantly offering the ability for people to come in and learn, right? Tomorrow night, we have a hormone harmony event where we're going to be talking about perimenopause. And we're going to be talking about all these different things that women can face using experts and, and people who have their own stories and experiences. So it's not just the products. It is a culture and a community that we're bringing people into where we really do get to also educate them on why that matters. So I think that's really powerful. Okay. Um, let's talk about, yeah, I love talking about this too. This was important to me meeting the team, um, sort of behind the company. It's like I said before, it's not just a couple of entrepreneurs that decided they're going to, you know, slap hormone health on a label. Instead, it's let's get some of the experts in endocrinology experts in naturopathic medicine. Let's get some people who really understand this stuff to actually create, formulate and ideate behind these products. So I'm not going to read each person unless you want me to, Jamie. Um, but these are just, you know, some examples of the people who serve on the board, who help, um, who help with the formulations of the products and, and all the things behind Hue and Grace. So you want me to keep going with the products? Okay. So when it comes to the, the products I mentioned before, we have three product verticals. So we have skincare, we have health and nutrition, and we also have the home care, right? So I, if I remember correctly, the company was sort of started with the skincare and it's sort of evolved over time. So these are the three product verticals that we offer. And what I love about this is once again, we become a sort of a one-stop shop for endocrine disruption. If you want to make simple swaps for, you know, how you clean your counters and your bathroom, we have a product for that with our home care. Um, if you want to start with all the things you're putting on your body, right? The things that are going on your skin, your makeup type stuff, your products, your, your, your lotions, your body lotions, your face creams, we have skincare that you can swap for that as well. And then our nutrition line too, this for me, being a nutritionist and being somebody who has a, a background in nutrition, this was important to me too, because you have to understand that everything, essentially everything in our environment is endocrine disrupting. The curtains hanging from your windows, the mattress, you know, that you're sleeping on at night, the things that are touching your skin that are in, on, and around your body are playing, are having an impact in how your endocrine, disrupt, endo, how your endocrine system functions. So if we can actually start to put different things on our skin, that makes a difference. And we can put the things in our body for hydration, for in a supplementation realm. If we can do those things, knowing that we're serving our hormones well, we are already doing better. When people ask me like, what's the first thing I need to do um, to really get my hormone health in check? They assume that I'm going to say something to them about cycle syncing their workouts, right? Because that's actually my jam. That's something that I love to do. I'm like, no, it's not actually the fitness. When they ask me the question like, okay, well, what, what's the best way to eat? Should I be paleo? Should I do keto? Should I do intermittent? You know, what's the best way to do to get my hormones back on track? My answer to them is the first step in getting hormone healthy is to actually make the first step in the right direction of making those swaps, getting the toxicity out of your environment, at least to the degree that you can control. Doesn't have to be all at once. It can be a slow start, but nice, simple swaps. That is the first step. Just like if I was going to teach somebody how to start eating healthy, we would start with removing the things that are in their environment that are not serving them. We're going to get rid of the Doritos. We're going to get rid of the Ortega tacos, and we're going to replace that with whole foods. That's what we're doing here. We're taking away the things 
that go in on and around your body that are not serving you. And we're making swaps for the things that do. And it's so feels so good to be able to know that it's just so, that simple, right? It's that simple when we're looking at it from the business end, like um, to know that these are products that are going to help me, they're going to help my clients, but they're also going to help when you come in as a new business builder, as a new advocate, that this is a s- simple done for you kind of system in the sense that you don't have to be like Jenny said, a hormone health expert, but the learning is all there. Those formulators we just saw, they create a training, they create formulator calls. Like every single product is, has a training. Why the, why these ingredients were chosen, where they were sourced, what they do, what they don't do, how they, you know, um, et cetera, that's all forward facing. So every single product I can listen to the formulator themselves teach me about those things so I can borrow their, borrow their knowledge and be able to go teach it, um, and use it and, and, and share it and empower my team and my clients with that. Um, one of the things, so being able to partner and align with the company's mission, the integrity around the products, the growth of the products. One thing that is really cool is like already this year, we've had four new products launch. It is April. <laughs> we just had our fourth new product launch this week. Um, so we've had um, collagen was already a product, but we launched it in new packaging into individual sticks. Um, and then a five and one facial cleaner and then a body butter. Um, so we're just building out more and more over time. These these product verticals are going to become more and more robust. And then this month, the home the home line launched a reusable we've just launched a reusable um paper towel so like uh, replaces one 15 rolls of paper towels um so a really nice and a lot of our company is really environmentally conscious and and um my minded as well so knowing that like i know that i'm gonna have things to sell things to part connect with people um things to talk about which um is actually when you're looking at business it, like I am amazed at the women who started this company that just had four products, four skincare products to launch. And they did it because they did it with passion, but knowing that we have more and more. Um, and I know Jenny has had um, a really great opportunity to really talk to Ben and Sarah, our CEOs and talk about product formulation and, and where the, you know, where that roadmap looks like. And they are just constantly innovating and, and have their ear to the field of like, what is the need? What do people want? Where, you know, and so that feels really fun to know that we get to partner on such a, high level with the direction this company is taking too. And I think that that's a really important thing to consider when you're looking at building an income or partnering in business somewhere is like, you know, is, is knowing that that part is taken care of for you. Um, and if some people want to go and make their own products and, and create their own line, like there's a lot that there's a lot of risk and a lot of time. And so I, have never really had that desire. I like someone else be doing all of that stuff for me. And then I get to just be the connective tissue for people. Um, and, and that's great if that is your jam too. I just, um, I like the people to people part and I love the business part. And one of the things that was the most not, it was a non-negotiable for me, honestly, when I was starting to look at other companies, I never thought I would look at another network marketing company in my life. Um, I, but I do respect and love and value what the, what the business model did for me and has done for so many um, uh, people in my world and my orbit on my team that I would never have been able to do. I can tell you to the penny what I would still, what I'd be earning this year as a school counselor. That's how fixed that, you know, pay structure is. Right. Um, and so I really wanted to make sure that we were partnering somewhere that my team could win, that I could bring in a new advocate, a new business builder and, they could see success and whatever that success looks like to them. Usually, you know, financial wins. Um, I had been in a place where I just felt like I couldn't promise, bring someone in and promise success to them anymore. I saw them work harder than they've ever worked in their life or no return on that time and that investment. And then internally blame themselves for not working hard enough or gaslighting themselves. Um, and I think that that so that was that was my non-negotiable and I just I want to hammer that home because I like did that vetting process like Jenny really vetted the products and I really vetted the 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 business the potential the opportunity here um and I feel like this is the most amazing timing and the most relevant topic um and like yeah like Jenny said like I'd love to say like 
this isn't just going to stop being an important thing. Like women are just not going to stop having hormone issues. This is not going to be something we just stop caring about poisoning ourselves. Um, and so we want to make sure that, that I wanted to make sure that this was a company that was really going to bring, they, they said that they were committed to bringing network marketing into the modern ages, right? I think a lot of this, this industry has been around for 60, 70 years. Um, and a lot of those older legacy brands never, they still have a structure and an infrastructure and a compensation plan that's still that old. And it hasn't evolved with like the evolution of social media, with the evolution of affiliate of marketing and social selling, um, et cetera. So um, it starts for me here at the customer level. I wanted my cut to know that customers would come in and have a really great experience and that they could save money. Um, we have a give 10, get 10 program, which I think is really fun. I remember telling my mom about this and she thought it was so cool as a customer. She was my first customer because she was supporting me. Um, she had her own, she had her own customer referral link. And I sent her that link. I said, mom, this is your customer referral link. If you send this to anyone, she's a teacher. If you send this to anyone at your school or any of your friends or any, you know, in our family and they buy through this link, you will get $10 in free product credit and they will get $10 in free product credit. And the next thing I know, she's like, okay, send it to so many people. And now people have questions. What do I say? Um, but I think that that's a really cool program um, because she's earning, share, you know, sharing what she's liking, sharing what she's using and getting free product credit for that. Those become my customers. Um, the cool part is that at any point if she decided to upgrade from customer to advocate, everyone she's referred to me then gets moved under her as her company, her customers that she, you know, that she's starting out her new business, which I think is pretty cool. Um, we have an HG Insider, which is kind of like a loyalty program. It's people they get first access to new products, they get 10% off and free shipping. Um, special, like our master classes, they got free access to things like that. Um, and then they also, our customers also can earn those product credits just for their purchases every month, which I think is really good. Plus our website feels really nice high-end feels like a really nice um elevated brand the other aspect that was the most important for me I had a lot of people over the years myself included who felt in and out of love with social media I have posted every day for 10 years and I um that's the one thing I never really could help someone uh, overcome with social media burnout and there's also just times that you know I felt like there was only one way to do that business, our business before, and that was to post online. And I wanted to know, I wanted to be able to show people that there was a way to build off of social media. I love social media and it's given me so much and I still use it, but I also don't want to have to post every day. I don't want to have to story every day. And I wanted to also know that people could win not having to be online and, and life casting. Um, and so one of the ways Hugh and Grace has modernized their compensation plan and what they have to offer is by offering three ways of earning. So we have our advocate model, which is our uh, our path, which is our traditional building a team. It's like kind of more the traditional network marketing. You get 25% commission or discount, 25 up to 40% commissions on any sales we make. We get our own website. All of our shipping and fulfilling is taken care of for us. Um, and um, we can earn commissions off of our sales, but also bonus um, bonus earnings off of like our team volume and the team success. Now, advocates can sign up other advocates, which is, again, traditional network marketing, but they can also sign up affiliates and retail advocates. And I don't want to talk about that because I think this is something that's really unique and different. Um, so an affiliate is, think your social media influencer person who's posting a link in their stories or posting a link in their post, loves their products. They maybe have a lot of different companies they like to represent and share, um, and they just have their own unique you know, link with a code. Jenny 10 gets 10% off. Um, they get 20% commission on sales. So I could sign up affiliates. They don't have to worry about leading a team, um, et cetera. Uh, and, and there are a lot of people that they just want to be able to earn a little commission, right? And that's and that's great. Um, what a retail advocate is, is think yoga studios, CrossFit gyms, um, IV bars, med spas, salons, hair, you know, Boutique, the little clothing boutique on the corner. Um, you think of it, you name it. If you go to it and you ever see um, them having products on their shelves uh, that they sell and earn a commission off of, then that would be a great option for a retail advocate um, option. So that would be someone who had people sign up B and B's, um, little um, little mini like you know day spas, um, etc. And so those people can 
buy it at wholesale price. They can then mark it up to 43%, sell it on their shelves. They get their own e-commerce site as well. Um, and you can work strictly and solely with people in your community. Um, a lot of advocates can do pop-up events and do customer appreciation nights for their customers, really help boost those sales or educate around those products in those areas. Um, and it's such a unique, special way um, to build, and that's completely off, off of social media. Now, as an advocate, when you're signing up affiliate and retail customers or, or advocates, you that will become part of your team volume structure. So all that becomes your organizational volume and can feed into that um, bonus structure. I just think that knowing that there are so many ways, we've had a lot of advocates who are in this middle section who aren't building on social media. They're really having fun exploring local pop-up events at local community, you know, at the YMCA, at their local gym or wherever, or doing home parties, which is again like an older, an older path that, you know, we didn't, I didn't, uh, we didn't see a lot of before in our company, but they are seeing so much fun and success. I think it's, I love the belly to belly. I love the getting people to giving people the chance to try, smell, feel a lot of these products in person and just really get immersed in their community in a way that I think some of us really crave when we're spending a lot of time um, on social media. Um, so some of the things that will matter if, if this is um, a language you're savvy in, so I'm not going to speak too much in detail, but I, I'm happy to dig into this in more detail with anyone. But volume for us is one to one. So if you sell someone buy something for $100, it's 100 volume points. Um, if someone buys something for $50, it's 50 volume points. So it makes it really simple. So you get um, versus like someone pays $100 and then you get 50, you know, 57 volume points. Like it's a really much fairer ratio. Um, like I said, we can earn up to 40% commission. We get discounts um, up to 35% even sometimes. And um, one of the cool things and I'll sh uh, I think was really important was that uh, in, a, in an older model with network marketing, you would really only advance in rank. Rank is usually when it uh, unlocks higher levels, higher levels of earning, um, but you really would generally only rank advance or unlock higher levels of earning when you built, when you recruited and you built a, a, the larger the team, the larger you earned. Here, rank advancement is done through sales. It's done through earnings. So it doesn't really matter if you have a giant team or a tiny but mighty team, like it's through the power of sales. So you rank advance through PV, which is through volume, personal volume, which is, I think, a, a differentiator again, but also means that like you have, you, I, I saw a lot of people struggle to find the thems out there, to find the business builders, or just that wasn't really their passion, but they were really great at connecting people to products. Um, there are, there's, there's so many ways. Um, and just by supporting our customers that can completely, um, help you win financially. Um, we have a really cool uh, program for new advocates in their first three full months. It's called our boost program. It's extra cash for, for starting, for selling, for enrolling people, for hitting that, those first couple ranks. There's just extra, you earn the cash you would earn, but then also extra bonus cash. Um, and then we also implemented this year and I've it's been amazing, but um, um, quarterly um, consistency bonuses. So if you were to hit a rank, and a lot of times we'll hit, people would hit a rank and stay there for a long time, and they would not get rewarded unless they were advancing. Here, if you're at a rank and you stay there month after month, you get an extra cash bonus, and that bonus is higher, you know, the higher your rank, but you're getting rewarded just for, for um, sustaining and for consistency, for maintaining, I should say. And we also have a quarterly bonus pool, um, like a profit sharing. So they take 3% of our of our profits each quarter and it's split up um, amongst several, uh, you kind of get different shares in the bonus pool depending on what rank you're at. Um, and I think that that's amazing too, that all, all added up to quite a bit last month. Um, and then I talked about some of these other things right there. Um, our, our links are really simple. It's really straightforward. And it's just growing so, so fast because like we've said a few times, this topic is not trending because it's trending, it's trending because it's relevant and it's important and it's needed. Um, and we will be talking, we love as a team, we talk a lot about, we do a lot of education and we do a couple times a month do a hormone harmony event. So tomorrow night we're specifically gonna be talking about that four-legged chair of the hormone, of our hormones and how that, how a lot of common illnesses are related to imbalances in those areas. 
I wanted to offer a quick little at a glance of our structure. This is not gonna make much sense unless we have a personal conversation about it. But for those who are savvy in that, I think this was really helpful for me. Um, there are different types of compensation plans out there. There's a breakaway, there's a binary and a unilevel. This is a unilevel plan. Um, you're welcome to screenshot this or I can send you the actual graphic at any point. Um, but it shows like even at like the very high strengths, our personal volume, which is our personal sales and our personal purchases, doesn't get that high. Those are really low bars. And then our organizational volume is where that team structure comes in. Um, so even through this rank, you don't need anyone through our first, you know, three, four ranks. You don't even need a team at all. And then um, as you continue to grow, you can unlock more and more levels of earning, but you get paid in, um, through your first three levels. So your child, your great grand, your child, your grandchild, your great grandchild. Um, and at you, as you grow in sales each month, you also earn our own, we also earn our own product credits. So $50 in product credit up to $1,000 in PV, which is really cool. So my products for my own use are paid for every month through my product credit, or I can gift it and do a little giveaway or raffle or something like that. So um, I found this to be a really lucrative compensation plan that really everyone can win financially from day one. Um, and that was really, that was a non-negotiable for me when I was kind of looking at this. Um, to enroll, there is a $45 enrollment fee, but we do not have a monthly business fee. Um, it is to stay an active advocate, that's a hundred, hundred dollars in a hundred PV. So it's a year, hundred in your own personal purchases or sales every month. Um, but there is no like monthly fee to stay active or anything like that. Um, and with that enrollment fee, you're going to get your, you know, your website, all your tools, you'll get your advocate badge, um, a little cute little patch. And then you have the option to enroll with a bundle, but you don't have to, but the bundles are probably like the steepest discount. So here's just a picture of what the bundles look like. If you wanted, like, I've had many people surprising me like I want everything if I want to try all this I want everything and so they start with the possibility set and then others are like I don't have that in the budget I'm going to start with this for now because this is what caught my interest and then every month I'll try something different and then just swap that out and I think either way is a great way to do this um but you can also just just order the paper towels if you wanted and pay the 45 like there's the next screen after the enrollment from this is just the what we call ad hoc orders so that was a a deep dive, quick, glossy deep dive of the business side of it. We already kind of mentioned our team side is just fantastic. Um, we have so much, so many training opportunities and learning and support. We have an amazing team hub where all of the leaders lead and share and support one another's teams. I think that's really what makes this such a magical place. And what is really like the secret sauce to the fact that our team is growing and thriving so much is just that we are truly leading everyone, one another, it's this better together kind of environment. So people come in at, we've got people that have never done network marketing before. We have people that have built million, has ran, led million dollar teams, right? And so like there, we have people that are lots of people that are like health special, you know, health practitioners, integrated health specialists or doctors or nurse practitioners or uh, estheticians, um, like body workers. We have so many, you know, nurses, professionals that are really experts in many aspects in the wellness world that have, are really excited to align here um, because it's a great partnership. It's a great supplemental income. It's a great stream of income, but that knowledge just makes us better. So I know that I don't have to know about, I'm, I don't, I'm still learning skincare myself, I like joke with my friends on the team. Like I used to wash my face with the shampoo suds after I washed my hair. Like that was my skincare regimen. So I'm still learning. And, um, but I know that like, I have this wealth of a team. Um, I ping Jenny constantly asking about hormone stuff. Um, and you know, like we, we're all, we're all learning together and there's no, no question too big or too small. And, I think that's just what makes it really fun and really special. Are there questions that are burning? Or Jenny, is anything that came up for you or you want to add? I was just going to add in there that, you know, um, as the leader of the team, Jamie uh, deserves some credit because so much of the team hub and the way that the, the 
team events, like these business opportunity calls and the hormone harmony event calls are organized, makes this business, as long as you're tapped in, it makes it simple for you. Um, and I love that because, um, I kind of felt like I was constantly grinding to, to like throw spaghetti at the wall in my previous endeavor to see what would work, you know, like, let me try different themes of something. I don't know. Like I was, I was constantly just kind of working really hard for, for, I don't know, a lot of what resulted in burnout. And I feel like in this, in this capacity, especially with just the way Jamie has organized the leadership of the team and, and the events and the things that happen and the way that the materials are, are created for you even is just so amazing. I've had so many people that have joined my team recently who are like, oh my gosh, this is incredible. Like this is just a wealth of information that I can easily invite to knowing that I don't have to know all the answers to invite to this. And I think that's the beauty of it, right? If you really want to be successful in something like affiliate marketing or network marketing, having the resources that can do the talking for you and having the products that are credible enough, right? It's like, you know that you can trust it. Um, it, it makes it so much more simple. So I just wanted to, to chime in there and say, um, I think leadership in a team matters so much and the organization of the content that you're not only consuming, but sharing um, can really <laughs> save your head in a lot of ways, keep you from grinding in ways you don't want to. <laughs> That that was that was very sweet, and I I I feel like it's it's just so much fun, and I learn everyone has so many great ideas, so it's fun to like just see it. You know, I'm a big fan of keep it simple, right? Keep it simple, sweetheart, because I spent a long time overcomplicating all the things, and it just paralyzed everyone. So, um, if we can just keep this a nice fluid system and easily plug and play duplicatable so that you can put your focus on just finding your story and your, your way to launch. I think that that's, I don't know, that's what our goal is as a team. Um, so tomorrow night, like we mentioned, um, you might be watching the recording. So we'll put the recording of that in the comments of this video too, um, on Vimeo once we get this posted. So you, if you missed the, the event, but tomorrow night, we will be doing um, an informational event. We want to be able to continue to educate and share value to just help explain like why this, you know, I didn't know what I didn't know until Jenny taught it to me or until I saw something on Instagram or, you know, you know, I told my functional medicine doctor explained something and broke it down really simple. And then I was like, oh, all of this makes sense now. Um, and so we continue to, we've talked about, um, sleep last month in our hormone harmony event. We talked about morning routines and detoxing a couple times this winter, um, tomorrow nights on special topics. So we'll be talking about, like I said, the endocrine system and our four legged chair and specific things, illnesses, or just seasons of life, like different things our bodies are experiencing or could be struggling with, like, um, endometriosis, um, cancer, perimenopause, um, thyroid issues, adrenal failure, um, and some other things that, um, through toxic load and just looking at it through like, not necessarily those specific illnesses or ailments, but like how our hormone health as a whole really can feed, um, for better or worse, those, the direction we go in that, um, and also how to like support our bodies to feeling better through that, not curative, but if you know what I mean, like just how we can, we can be the champions of our health in, in those situations. And then at the end of the month, we'll do another hormone harmony specifically on skin health. We have an esthetician and a face yoga, um, gua sha expert. We'll be doing a really fun one around skincare and we'll be talking about acne and, um, rosacea things, you know, skin issues that are also hormone connected. So, mm -hmm. um, did I miss anything on questions? I'm going to talk, give the awkward teacher pause for a minute. If anyone has, uh, looks like Vicky has a question and I'll, I'll check my Facebook too, just to see. Oh, great. Okay. Um, Oh, can you lose rank? So, so every month, so this is something that's really different <laughs> and it's taken a little bit of a mind, um, a mind shift. So our rank, our volume accrues from month at month, January, the first day of the month to the last day of the month. So it builds, builds, builds. So instead of, um, before I had like a, we had a weekly rolling over. It was like your volume always kind of stayed at some level. So, um, thanks. Thanks, Christine. So at the, on the 30th of April, Wherever we end with volume will be where we end. And then the first of the month, 
everyone in the company is at zero volume. <laughs> so everyone starts at base advocate from on day one of each month, and then we grow. So you can lose rank depending on where you end that next month. Um, but generally what, what we've, and so I think there's a little bit of an, like an ebb and flow as you, it kind of like trends like this I'm seeing with people that are consistently building. It's how I've definitely seen myself go, but um, there it's trends up. And if you're like, I think because it's sales um, based, then you, you have in like most customers I've seen, like a love it. And they, we have like a 97% reorder rate, but I've seen for my own personal customers, they'll buy like one thing and then they naturally just want to go in and shop and buy more things. We also have a really, really simple auto ship program where it, they order whatever they, they order, but then they can set their next shipment date either on the first or the 15th, the next month, or they can put it out two months, three months out. Um, so it'll all auto ships got the first and the 15th of every month. Um, and then you get 10% off and free shipping. So there's a really nice incentive to stay on that subscription, but say Vicky, you were my customer on a subscribe and save, and you're like, you know, I'm not, I've got a plenty of stuff or I need to like take a budget break. I guess can easily go into my account, edit your order, change the date. If you're like, oh, actually I have enough collagen, but I really wanted to try the paper towels. I could add the paper towels to your order, take off the collagen. I just, yeah. today, one of my customers, she's moving. She goes, I think I'm going to be at my new place. Can you change my next order to my new? I was able to go in and edit her address in like five seconds. So the customer experience process being what it is helps keep that volume growing and trending up because it's not like you're not like, you know, hogtied to having to order or like wait on, on hold for an hour to cancel something. Like it's so simple and it makes people just want to be continuing to use it. And we have new every single product is consumable. So other than like our, we have a, a organic cotton robe, <laughs> that's not consumable, but every single other product is consumable. So there's um, a reorder process with all of those things too. And they're all family friendly. So we've got people who are like, oh, I have to order another body butter because my teenage son's used it all or whatever. Okay. Um, so they're, so in that, so yes, that's a long way of answering yes, but like it's, it's if you're present, let the wheel of your business, like you will see it grow in, in trend steady or up. Yeah. I just want to chime in too, on the technology piece. I was a stickler about the the ingredients and, and all that, the sourcing and everything for the products. And then my second thing was on the technology, because I've been in an environment before where you feel like you said, hogtied, like you're like, I don't know. I, I'm not really in charge of your customer service experience really, but yet I'm also the person that you've gone through. So it's, it is so seamless to be able to help people here. And the website is so intuitive. I mean, to be able to actually just set back your auto ship, like, like just like you can on Amazon or whatever is, is so nice. Um, so the technology piece I wanted to mention, but also I wanted to just chime in on the residual piece because of those three different product verticals and because it's all under the umbrella of non-toxic, right? What I've seen is people might come in for the nutritionals. That tends to be what I'm talking about the most. So if they come in for, let's say, hydrate and detox or the morning routine, they they usually, in, in a lot of cases, they'll stay on that as a residual order. But then the next month, they might throw in the household cleaner. Or then you might see them throw, you know, I want to try the night serum or the night supplement. So I'm seeing that just grow, as Jamie said. I mean, at first I thought this will just be my mom. Like my mom will be the one that changes it up and adds stuff. But actually everyone is. Um, and I get a lot of questions from people like, oh my gosh, I love this so much. What about the body butter or what about this? You know, so um, the residual piece is so big here. because, And I think it's because the catalog and the verticals are so expansive. Yeah, I want to say something really cool that, I mean, I know we're going on on time, but so we, they even set up the auto ships on the 1st and 15th. They said at some point, because we're having, we're growing so much, they might move to like 1st, 10th and 20th. But for now we've got the two days a week, but they're two days of the month. But what was so neat is they send, so they send reminders a, a week out or 10 days out, seven days out that it's coming, but we've all been there. Like I just forgot it. Right. And so then they send out the order, the order has shipped or the order is processed. Um, but early in the day on those first and 15th, knowing that people are going to panic and go, ah, I didn't want it. And they don't charge, they don't process your credit card or actually ship it until later in that day. So it gives like a good eight to 10 hour window for people 
that are inevitably, you know, the ones that are definitely going to go, oh, wait, no, no, you know, so that you're not like then again, stuck. And they're literally wanting, their goal is to, our goal is to make sure everyone has a good experience and that no one ends up having a bad taste in the mouth. Anytime there's been an issue with shipping or something came in the bag, the, the box wrong, or it was opened or whatever, right? The stuff, stuff happens in transit, they'll immediately just fix it and like send, send a replacement, no need to like prove it by sending it back for like, it's just a commitment to quality. And I think that that's really just for me, again, it's one of those like non-negotiables. It makes me really just, it makes it easy to be proud to partner. So. Yeah. And I'll also say too, like the communication from corporate to advocates is so solid. Um, you can, I mean, you can dial into the calls or you can open up your inbox and you see all the information you need to see. Like I now know when this product's launching. I know the details of the product. Like I don't have to go searching for it in some sort of portal uh, or feel like I'm out of the loop because I didn't keep up with something because it's literally they're giving you everything you need and it's very straightforward. It's it's pretty great. So I know this has been a lot and hopefully it was helpful or exciting or interesting, if nothing else. Um, the next step, if you aren't already an advocate, would be to reach out to whoever sent you this video um, because we'll get you a special link. Um, I know a lot of us have a couple gift cards laying around. We could probably um, help you get started if you came from this video. Um, and then we'll get you going with the, the, make some product recommendations if you need that and et cetera. So do reach out to whoever sent you the invite for tonight and I'm just can't wait to welcome you to the team, hopefully. And Jenny, I love getting to do this with you and I'm excited for tomorrow night. So hopefully you, yeah. it's the same zoom link. So if you save the zoom link, it's at 8 PM East coast time. So half an hour earlier, it will be much shorter. Um, but it'll be great. So. Uh, and feel free if you have people that you feel like would benefit from learning. It's just a, just a, it's just a little info, uh, info sash. So we're going to talk for like a chair. I'll see you there. Thanks, Jamie. You're welcome. Bye guys. Bye guys.